Hello, good morning, myself. I am BSR Botany Lecturer. Today, our topic photosynthesis that to dark reaction. You know, the dark reaction depending on light products but not on light. In the dark reaction, especially C3 pathway, you know, the C3 pathway first reported by Malvin, Calvin, Benson, and Basham. Malvin Calvin conducted experiment on chlorella plants by using CO2-14 radioactive isotope. And they discovered the first stable compound as well as intermediate compounds by using autoradiography and chromatography techniques. Anyway, the process C3 pathway. Here, three molecules of RUBP. RUBP means ribulose 1,5-bisphosphate. Three molecules of RUBP, each RUBP containing 5 carbons. So, three RUBP condensed with the three molecules of carbon dioxide to form six molecules of 3 PGA. In each 3 PGA, three carbons are present. So, due to the presence of three carbons in the first stable compound, this pathway is called C3 pathway. For that, the enzyme is Rubisco. Rubisco means ribulose 1,5-bisphospho carboxylase or oxygenase. This is the abundant enzyme, abundant protein present in the leaves, leaf mesophyll cells. Rubisco can act as carboxylase when carbon dioxide concentration is more. Sometimes this Rubisco act as oxygenase when oxygen concentration is more. That process is called photorespiration. But this one is photosynthesis C3 pathway. Anyway, six molecules of 3PG is forming, each one containing three carbons. Now the six molecules of 3PG undergo phosphorylation to form six molecules of 1,3 by PGA. 3PGA, 1,3 bisphosphoglyceric acid, each one containing three carbons. For that phosphorylation, the phosphate donor is ATP. You know the ATP is the light product, light reaction product. So, for 6, 6 ATP are required. ATP converted into ADP. For that, the enzyme is phosphoglycerokinase. When ATP involved, the enzyme is always kinase. So, 1,3 by PGA. Now, 6 molecules of 1,3 by PGA undergo reduction to form 6 molecules of glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate. For that reduction, the hydrogen donor is NADPH2. You know, the NADPH2 also the product of light reaction. So, for 6 molecules, 6 NADPH2s are formed like that, 6 G3Ps are there. 6 NADPH2s converted into 6 NADP. Like that, 6 glyceraldehyde 3 phosphates are formed. These 6 glyceraldehyde 3 phosphates, observe here, 1 is exported to cytosol, remaining 5 are involved in regeneration of RUBP. That 1 G3P exported to cytosol for synthesis of 1 glucose. But in one glucose, six carbons are present. But in G3, three carbons are present. So that is why for synthesis of one glucose, how many carbons are required? Six carbons. It means two G3Ps are required. So what is the clarity? Actually, not three RUBP. You have to take six RUBP. It means six RUBP are there. Six RUBP condensed with the six CO2 to form 12, three PGA, to form finally 12, one, three by PGA, to form 12 G3P. In that 12 G3P, 2 are exported to cytosol for synthesis of 1 glucose. Remaining 10 are involved in regeneration of RUBP. It is clear. So, for our convenience only, I am taking 3 molecules of RUBP. So, when 3 molecules of RUBP are there, the 6 G3Ps are forming. 1 is exported to cytosol. Remaining 5 are involved in regeneration of RUBP. Okay. Among these 5, Two are isomerized to DAP, dihydroxyacetone phosphate, in presence of triose phosphate isomerase. Now, G3P condensed with the DAP, glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate condensed with the dihydroxyacetone phosphate, in presence of aldolase to form fructose 1,6 bisphosphate. Remember in the C3 pathway, when one product is forming, the enzyme is aldolase, when two products are forming, transketolase. So, fructose 1,6 bisphosphate, 3 carbon, 3 carbon compound, this one is a 6 carbon compound. Now, fructose 1,6 bisphosphate undergo depasparilation. Enzyme is very simple, fructose 1,6 bisphosphatase. 
So to form fructose six phosphate, it means that the first carbon phosphate is removed. So fructose six phosphate containing the six carbon. So that the six carbon compound now condensed with the glycerol dehyde three phosphate. Glycerol dehyde three phosphate containing the three carbons. So in presence of transketolase, two products are formed. In presence of aldolase, only one product. In presence of transketolase, two products are forming. So six carbon plus three total nine carbon. It means five carbon compound and four carbon compounds are formed. Five carbon compound is xylulose five phosphate and erythrose four phosphate. Erythrose four phosphate containing four carbons. It is containing five carbon. Now erythrose four phosphate again condensed with the DAP dihydroxy acetone phosphate three carbon compound, which containing four carbon compound. 4 plus 3, it means the seven carbon compound is formed. That is, said have to lose one seven bisphosphate. Said have to lose one seven bisphosphate in presence of aldolase. Aldolase. When one product is there, aldolase. Said have to lose one seven bisphosphate undergo depasperlation to form said have to lose seven phosphate. So in game, you know, said have to lose one seven bisphosphate is. Now seven carbon said have to lose seven phosphate condensed with the glycerol dehyde three phosphate to form two products. What are they? Xylulose five phosphate and ribose five phosphate. So so when two products are there, the enzyme is transketolase. So here very very important seven carbon compound plus three carbon means ten carbon. So two five carbon compounds are forming. What are they? Xylulose five phosphate and ribose five phosphate. Anyway, here this is the xylulose five phosphate, and this one also xylulose five phosphate. These two xylulose five phosphates are converted into ribulose five phosphate in presence of ribose five phosphate epimerase. So finally, two ribulose five phosphates are formed. But now you know here ribose five phosphate is also there. Ribose five phosphate is also isomerized to ribulose five phosphate. In presence of ribose five phosphate isomerase, and finally, how many ribose five phosphates are formed? Three, two from xylulose five phosphate, one from ribose five phosphate. Like that, three ribose five phosphates are formed. So these three molecules of ribose five phosphate undergo again phosphorylation. Phosphorylation means phosphate is added for three three ATP. So ribulose five phosphate after addition of phosphate, it is converted into ribulose one five bis phosphate. So RUBP also regenerated. Finally, for regeneration of this one three ATPs and here phosphorylation six total how many nine nine ATPs are required. How many NADPH two are required? Six NADPH two. But actually, for synthesis of one glucose, for synthesis of one glucose, you have to double this process. It means three RUBP. Actually, six RUBP are required. When it is double, how many ATPs are required? Eighteen ATPs are required. When it double, twelve NADPH two are required. So, for synthesis of one glucose in C three pathway. How many ATPs are required? 18 ATPs and 12 NADPH2s are required. So this is the C3 pathway. Thank you, thank you to all.